Steve Miller. Welcome to my new YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Today we're going to feature the State Capitol building here in Harrisburg, one of my favorite photographic subjects for many years. I actually office in this building uh, years ago when I shot for AP and uh, UPI and uh, shot for, with Paul Vathis. Paul won the Pulitzer Prize in photography, I believe it was the 1964 uh, famous picture of Eisenhower and Kennedy walking away in Camp David, uh, one of Paul's uh, best photographs that he shot for AP and won the Pulitzer Prize that year. But Paul hired me to shoot as a stringer photographer and uh, worked out of the office here. And uh, today we're going to walk through the, do a photo walk through the tour and uh, feature three or four images that, uh, that we're going to shoot here today and uh, talk about the image. I've come to the conclusion years ago that the essence of photography is the image. So let's go. The key to this shot, you've got to be low. Again, we're trying to get as much as we can in a wide angle shot here, in a single shot. I can shoot it in multiple shots and stitch it together later in Photoshop, but I like getting it in one frame. I like to get it in just one shot. I don't like a lot of gimmicks, but uh, we'll see what we can do here. This is uh, absolutely incredible. This uh, whole circle here. It's, it's the graphicness of it that makes it. It's that complete circle with the steps going up it, the soft lighting, the angels. Uh, what an incredible building, what an incredible building. So, uh, shoot some stills of it and uh, see what we get. When shooting these wide shots, you gotta get low uh, to get all this in. Right now I'm shooting with a 17 to 35 millimeter lens and it's still not wide enough. Uh, what I ended up doing is shooting this, I shot this in two frames. Shot it with the upper frame and then lowered the camera, shot a second frame, same exposure for the lower section and then Photoshop, I stitched them together to make one big photograph. But you got to get low. So let's go in the center here and we'll shoot straight up in the air. The key to shooting this shot to get it effectively, you've got to be right dead center. I asked the guard one time where center was. If you look on the floor down here, there's a brass ring here. I guess that's for electric. Uh, if that was the center of the room or center of the dome, he said it was. But if you lay on your back, which I'm going to do here, and look straight up, it's not the center. The center actually is right over here. In order to get the most with a wide angle lens of this dome in one shot, you've got to get low. The lower, the more you're going to have in your picture. I'm still not completely centered, but I'm really close. I'm zoomed all the way back, shooting straight up. That's it. One of my favorite shots of this cap off. I've, been, I've seen other photographers shoot, but I've never seen anybody shoot this angle before. The shot is the outline of these arches with the spires of State Street in the background. In my earlier years, I never shot with a tripod. It, I felt it inhibited my creativity, because the setting up, the tearing down. It's just, there's so much pre-thought in every picture, but my style of photography is more like sketching rather than pre-thinking every shot. But I found in my later years, the more I wanted quality in my imagery, the more I'd use a tripod. Tripods speak of what you value in your photography. Is your photography valuable enough to go to the effort, extra effort and pre-thought, forethought, and put a tripod to it? Your pictures will be better with a tripod. There's no doubt about it. They'll be sharper, the depth of field you can control better, uh, either more or less, whatever you're choosing, but a tripod is essential for high quality photography. With this 24 millimeter lens, I can barely see the outside edges of the arches, so I'm going to move back a little bit. That looks
just great. That's fantastic right there. Now, there's something else here in my picture that I don't like that I'm going to move. I hope the Capitol Police doesn't mind. But these uh, barriers here, they're in my picture. I'm just going to move them temporarily and I'll put them back. Hope they don't arrest me. Moving around stuff here. Oh, that looks good. That looks really good. Now, this is a excellent opportunity if you so chose to to use high dynamic range photography where you would shoot three, five, seven, nine different exposures and combine them later in photometrics or some type of HDR program. But I'm just going to shoot it with a single frame and uh, let Photoshop do the magic from there. Let's see what we got here. We got uh, shooting at ISO 200. 200th of a second, and I'm an F13, and that does not look bad. Again, like I said initially, this is my first YouTube video. I don't know who my audience is. I don't know who I'm speaking to. I don't know if I'm talking to newbie photographers that just picked up a camera last week or guys that have been at it for a long time like myself. We can all learn from anybody and everybody if we're open to it. If you got questions, give me some feedback. That's how I can best know. Try to be gentle. Being this is the first time, uh, the harsh criticism is uh, might be a little hard to tell. I heard that's really rough. I hadn't received any of that yet. but. Uh, but do subscribe. If you're getting anything out of this or your uh, friends or relatives, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I understand if you hit the like, that means something too. I'll figure that out later. But subscribe and like, that would be, it doesn't cost you anything, but that helps me know that you're out there, that you're watching. Thank you, folks.